Hi! So this video is a request from Clara because we eat a lot of Chinese food and she comes to our house and she loves it but she doesn't know what to buy when she goes to a Chinese shop. So Claude and I thought that we would go show you some of the cool things that you can get, some snacks and the recipe for this tofu soup which oh my god is to die for. It's so good. I hope you enjoy! old-fashioned sweet tea. It's like basically like plum, dried plum into like little slices. They're a bit like those wafers that you get given at like mass. Oh. They're plum flavoured. Yeah. One thing I really like actually about a lot of Chinese shops is they tend to have different dried fruits. Like this one, which is for lychee I think. They're really good. More awesome snacks you can find in the Chinese shop. Jerky. Yeah. See, look, these are all just natural dried foods, and then you've got different dried proteins. What have we got? A crispy peanut candy. That does have added sugar. But look, wasabi flavour. If you want to burn your mouth off, that's pretty good. Original flavour. I've got a really good. This one's amazing because it tastes like prawn. Oh. And there's nothing better than prawn, let's be honest. As well as food in Chinese shops, you can generally buy some very good uh, houseware. Kitchen items. What have you got there, Claude? It's for like thieving up chicken. Yeah. That's what happens when Jessica leaves me alone for two minutes. <laughs> Good. Protein snacks, the vegetarians here with dried bean curd. Exciting warriors from Asia. Oh yes, that is my absolute favourite type of tofu. Tip for the future, never again buy noodles anywhere else. They're always cheaper in a Chinese shop. Yeah. And better with sweet potato. <gasps> you have found sweet potato noodles. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like they knew I was coming. It's made with sweet potato starch and water. It's probably like that is pretty, yes. Oh my god. We're destined next time. It is very good, isn't it? Claudia's going to show off her knowledge of vegetables now. Actually, like long spinach. Mm -hmm. It's very, very nice. This is something I'm obsessed with, Chinese pickled veg. Now a lot of it has sugar in, but there are some brands that instead of adding sugar, add sweetener. You love Asian curries, but don't want to make your own sauce. This is the place for you. Here we have our ingredients. Although I make this soup with ingredients found in a Chinese shop, you can also substitute in things found in your local supermarket. Check the link in the description for the blog post where I explain more. Add the diced carrots and packed choy stems to sesame oil, heated in a large pot. Brown for 7 minutes and stir occasionally. You're going to need a big pot, since next we pour in 2 litres of water. Add 60 millilitres of gluten-free soy sauce, which is also called tamari. One knob of fresh grated ginger, a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, a tablespoon of fish sauce. This recipe is vegan if you leave that out. Salt and pepper to taste, and can we all just take a moment to yay at my hand being a little better? Throw in a handful of dried black fungus, if you like it. Have a dance break, or you bring everything to the boil, then reduced heat and simmer for 15 minutes. 
Muli isn't generally part of this recipe, but I had to include it because this one is just ruddy massive. Look at it, it's a monster. Here's my phone for some perspective. See, monster. Right, going to attempt to cut it now. Boom, yes. Fell on the floor though. Stir in the grated muli and some chopped spring onion tops. Tear up some oyster mushrooms. Add the leaves from the pak choy and simmer for seven minutes until they're wilted. This is Claudia's favorite bit, century eggs. Don't let the color put you off. They're not actually centuries old. They're just preserved eggs. They're delicious and Claudia likes to do this with them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using these pre-baked seafood tofu cuts for the soup. They're my absolute favorite. You can use any kind of pre-baked or fried or just cooked tofu or you can make your own. Add the yummy baked tofu and century egg. Just simmer until it's heated through. Get your rice noodles ready and serve your delicious soup. If you're a chilli lover, then add some of the gorgeous chilli oil we bought earlier. Beautiful. I also like to top it with some of the snack seaweed you saw me buying earlier. It's so good. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you make the soup and subscribe for more.